We're all doing paleo at the moment, aren't we? It's very popular in Australia and heavily promoted by a celebrity chef in Australia, and I'm not going to name names. Um, so what is the paleo diet? Well, the paleo diet is based on the principle that we evolved to consume very basic foods and that consuming grains, legumes and dairy products is at odds with our genetic makeup. There's been very few scientific studies done on the paleo diet. Some small, short duration studies show the diet is low in carbohydrate and high in fat and protein. And it might be useful for weight control over the short term, however, the long term health impacts are less clear. The Australian Dietary Guidelines, on the other hand, promote several serves a day of grains, legumes and dairy. And what I'm interested in with the paleo diet is whether excluding grains and legumes significantly changes the type of fibre you're consuming. Now fibre is very important for our friends in our gut, our bacteria, because the, the type of fibre that we consume can significantly change the populations in our gut. Now the bacteria in our gut like to, like to eat as their major food source, soluble fibres and fermentable starches like resistant starch. And in relation to a paleo diet, there's a few questions that need answering. The first one is that a high fat and protein diet, such as the paleo diet, might alter the environment in the large intestine and make it less favourable for fermentation. And this might increase, over the, over the long term, the risk of colorectal cancer and non-infectious bowel disease. Secondly, consuming a high fat and protein diet means that a portion of this does make its way to your bacteria in your gut. And this might increase the risk of cardiovascular disease over a longer period. And thirdly, a reduction in fermentable carbohydrate means that there's a reduction in beneficial fatty acid production. This might increase the risk of insulin resistance over a longer term period. This study will be the first study to examine the long term health impacts of a paleo diet. We will be recruiting 51 long term followers of the diet and matching them with healthy controls. We'll be looking at the types of fibre they're consuming, the types of bacteria present in their gut, and taking markers of their cardiovascular health and markers of insulin resistance. With the dietary pattern so popular in Australia at the moment and very little evidence surrounding the efficacy and safety of the diet, this research is most definitely warranted. Thank you.